here we are at the Ionity Charger. So we just arrived at the uh, Maidstone services and we've pulled into the SO refueling station and here we are four Ionity 350 kilowatt chargers first in England uh, as far as I can see there's one in Ireland and they're of course all over Europe but first in England and I'm gonna try to see if I can get above or break my record for charging my Hyundai Kona electric which has only ever gone as high as 45 kilowatt kilowatts before uh, so let's see if we can get more CCS eight pounds per charging session please insert plug into vehicle okay Okay, that's in. Actually, the charging cable's not too heavy. Authorization confirmed. Preparing to charge. Set up communication with the car. There's a sort of humming noise. What's it doing? Is it actually going to charge me? Let's have a look down on the car. Charging, we're off. Must be doing a free bend. Charging naught, well, it says naught percent. Oh, yeah, 42 percent. 13 fright. Looks like, looks like we're charging. Just go back in. Let's have a look what we've got on the dash. I don't know if you can see that. 53 kilowatts. Yeah, I'll take that. I can't actually. Can you see that? Yeah, I'll show you it. Yeah, 52 kilowatts. Oh, it's not great, is it? 40, 43% charge. I'd expect it to do a bit better than that. I'm expecting to get a little bit better than 53 kilowatts. The car's rated for 100 kilowatts, but I know from YouTube that it only does high 70s, uh, but I had 43% state of charge, so I was expecting to get a little bit more. Yes, yeah, so I'm not quite clear what at MFG means, but there you go. One, two, three, and four. Four bays, 350 kilowatt chargers. Maybe they're 350 kilowatt capable, but haven't been set up yet. So I'm about five minutes into the charge, and I don't know if you can see that. I've got, now I'm up to 76 kilowatts. So now it's going at full tilt, if the intertubes are to be believed. This is as fast as the Kona Electric will go. And the time to complete has dropped to 26 minutes. I don't know if you can see that. It's not a great contrast. Eight kilowatt hours delivered already. So nice one, Ionity. Looked like it needed a few minutes to step up in its charging. You now hit 58% and it's dropped down to 57 kilowatts. It seems to be up and down. It's now at 60% charge and it's charging at 57 kilowatts, which is less than it was five minutes ago when it was up to 76. So I don't know if you can see down here, but there's a, a part number, so it's the ABB. Um, it hasn't actually got a model name on it, but uh, made in Italy. So it was a bizarre experience, actually. When we first got here, I had the app installed. I had my payment method for Ionity entered into the app. I was ready to go. And then it said eight pounds for a charging session. I'm thinking, well, actually eight pounds, that's a little bit more than Polo, which is what, 6.95 for a six pounds 95 for a charging session. I thought that's quite expensive, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Pressed okay. And it uh, pressed start and it said connect to the vehicle. So I connected and it just started charging. I then got mid 50s which was my record so my record was broken fantastic and it just sat there for about five minutes i didn't and i thought well that's all i'm going to get is, is 55 kilowatts 
but then suddenly it ramped up to 76 which is what I had seen on on YouTube before uh, as as much as you can get into this vehicle so I thought great you know I'm fine here I'm probably gonna get you know mid 70s until I hit 75% something like that and then it just at late 58% it just crashed down to 55 kilowatts it's, it's at 68% now it's creeped up a little bit to 58 kilowatts so I don't know what's going on in the software I don't know whether it's battery conditioning uh, but it's quite variable still very fast and uh, that's what we all want right so now we're sitting at 35 kilowatts as it's gone above 70%. I think that is my cue to wrap up this charging session and get out of here. Right, so now we're gonna cancel it. Let's press the stop here. There's a sort of clunk and a click. 22.87 kilowatts, kilowatt hours delivered in 23 minutes, 55 seconds. Connect, okay, right, so now I'm gonna withdraw the charger from the car. It's out, and let's put that back in. Let's see what the software is telling me to insert. Oh, it's saying insert into vehicle. I think it's just, uh, it's keen to deliver its power. But anyway, that is the end of our charge. Thank you so much, Ionity, for all that lovely electricity. At eight pounds, which was the cost of the, the charging session that it stated, it didn't charge me, but it wanted eight pounds for charging session. I imagine if I turned up to that charging station with, say, 25% of my capacity, which would be, uh, you know, 15 kilowatts, and I put in uh, 50 kilowatt hours, imagine I put in 40 kilowatt hours, about a kilowatt hour a minute, something like, give or take on average over that period. So I managed to get 40 kilowatts in in 40 minutes. That would work out to be a good deal for me because 40 kilowatts hour, let's say 25 pence per kilowatt hour, that's 10 pounds of value. Very happy to spend 10 pounds on that much electricity at 25p per kilowatt hour. So therefore I'm getting 10 pounds worth of lecky at eight pounds. And if I had an iPACE or an e-tron or a, one of the bigger electric cars, that's a much better value. Just to wrap this up, um, I would say actually it's good value, it's good equipment, it's nice and quiet, it's a good location, um, and the Ionity network as it rolls out across England and the rest of the United Kingdom uh, will give that bridge into the European continent. I worked out yesterday from looking at the Ionity website that we should be able to get to Hungary using Ionity chargers. Um, so, based on those speeds, the reliability, the number of chargers per site, I would say Ionity have, have, have got it right. Anyway, thanks for watching.